So continuing, on hearing this tragic news, it was too much for her mind to bear, and Patachara went stark mad. She went into shock, and she was overwhelmed on hearing the news that her parents' house had collapsed. On top of all the other things that happened, her husband poisoned a snake and lost both her babies. So the first stage of grief is shock. You get this initial paralysis on witnessing the tragic news. So this is the first stage when it's just too much. You're just overwhelmed and reality is just st stuns the system. The brain just freezes and the mind just goes into a state of total shock and being stunned and unable to take in and process. Shock. Her husband's death. The memory that the family, they just now no more and they died in such a colossal way. The second stage of grief then, denial, trying to avoid the inevitable, trying to deny reality and just say that it didn't happen, it didn't happen, it isn't real, it isn't actually real and withdrawing inside and just rejecting the, the events to complete denial that her son has drowned or that she was involved in any way in it that the baby uh, was carried off by the hawk and this kind of uh, reality shock this denial rejection can be like psychotic psychosis is where reality is just refused and then the mind goes into state of denying reality at all and then their own existence and their mind's existence itself so it goes into a state where both shock and denial lead to the third stage of grief anger frustrated outpouring of bottled up emotions if it gets outpoured it will also go inpoured and go also rejected anger at oneself and at events or blame it can manifest as blame blaming myself for everything just rage and anger this theme of water also here we have Shiva the destroyer which is the kind of hallucination of madness and anger and rage and aggression and violence toward interned internally which is very destructive and turned outwards as well. I don't blame anyone. I did this to myself. It's my fault. I blame everything. It's all my fault. In this case, is what happened with Padachara, that her decision to take the children was the cause. Fourth stage of grief, bargaining, seeking in vain for a way out, just trying to, trying to ask nature to reverse, trying to ask time to go backwards and do it all again bargaining that the events which keep haunting the mind can be somehow I give you this and, and you give me that and I can uh, try to sort of deal do a deal with God or to do a deal with the universe the fifth stage of grief depression is finally realization of the inevitable it is accept these things has happened and final realization that it's inevitable and this is what the Buddha encourages her to reflect on that Death comes to everyone. It's, it's inevitable that it will happen. It can happen after one day of life, but it can happen after a hundred years of life. And we don't know when, but it, it's inevitably happening to anyone. But this depression happens often at that time. The, the reaction also to the blaming oneself and the, the feeling that I could have done something about it or I could have done things differently and I'm bad because I didn't. I did things the wrong way, I did things the bad way. So, so sinking into sadness and wishing that events have been different somehow and that my role in it is somehow involved. A so depression goes, can go spiraling and these, these phases can happen multiply, really combined and they can happen for very long times in Patachara's case. So she torments herself with self-blame 
over and over and over, hating ourselves over and over and over. And you can see in the eyes of these of those people as well. So depression, depression, when outcome of anger and rage, and then finally realizing, well, yeah, yes, I have to move on. And at this point, Padacharya wandered close to where the Buddha was giving a demo talk. And the outer edge of people tried to shoo her away. And she was hardly wearing anything and was crazed, covered in mud and, dirt, and dirt, mud and dirt, and her hair wild and tangled. So people just went, get away, it's a crazy woman, it's a crazy woman. But the Buddha called her through and said, no, 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 bring her up, bring her forward. And someone gave their cloak to wrap round her. And she started to come out of her darkness and see the light of the Dhamma and see there is a way forward. Because before then, she was just spiraling into suicide or depression, blaming herself for everything and in absolute despair. But the brilliance of the Dhamma, the awesomeness and the, and the, the, the healing nature of the Buddha's way, that he was not judging her. And he asked her to, to explain. And he knew how she could recover how she could heal her spirit, how her mind could calm down, how that she had come to someone who can heal, who can give her love, who can give her purpose, who can give her truth, who won't judge her, who can make her calm and feel uh, philosophical and go through the grieving process and come to a sense of harmony and acceptance. So it, in, her, in your eyes, she sees the light, the heat. In your eyes, she, she's complete. All her instincts return. And this mess that she's in will soon go. And without her pride, she reaches out from the inside. That's a Peter Gabriel lyric. The sixth day, stage of grief, testing, seeing realistic solutions, and finding perhaps I could look at it this way and that might work. I could stop spiraling and, and hurting in so bad many ways or so destroying myself, oh yeah, that life's impermanent, it's just built up, and it pops, and that's for everyone, and she starts to come out and starts to test, yes, perhaps that's true, perhaps it's, I'm, I'm not so bad after all, and then she can give herself permission to move beyond blame, so the seventh stage of grief happens, acceptance, finally finding the way forward and coming out of this depressions and spirals and rage and denial and shock and then finding friends in the community that, that can help her look at it and put it to rest and come to a state of resolution. <laughs>